Tell Osaka. Shh. Okay, why are you being weird? I otherwise British Seka will know. There is no way he knows. Hello, Seka. Bro, I told you. It's just like he has Ninja Warrior. Have you heard, Seka? The banners have gone live. I am sorry, my friend. You are a wise man. It's like he has ears like a hawk, dude. I don't know. <laughs> Here for a spot of tea. Russian Seka, don't drink the tea. Don't worry. He is scary. Okay. Alrighty, boys and reels. It is. Oh shit! I'm not even on the screen. Wait, 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 wait. wait. I'm almost there. Almost there. Oh, we got it. Okay, cool. All right. So we got the brand new banners. They are live, and we have, of course, the Klee banner, which looks like absolute fire dog shit. Easiest skip of your fucking life, fam. <laughs> Easiest skip of your fucking life. Anyways, Fischl's great. Uh, Sucrose is great. Barber great. But we're gonna go talk about why these characters. This is probably gonna be a skip banner for a lot of players at Genshin Impact. We're gonna talk about why some people are gonna be pulling on this banner and what's gonna be going on in the mix. So, uh, for these characters specifically in Gen Genshin Impact, okay, there are some issues, and uh, the issues kind of stem from uh, Fischl being good at C6 and not so good at any other constellation. So if you need C6 Fischl to boost out your team, she's really good, because on C6, of course, you get the nice boost where you get 30% of your attack bonus is electro damage. But what I recommend for players is that if you guys are already building out a Beidou or you have Beidou built out, she's much better as far as the sub DPS goes. And the reason being is because she actually has electro shred on her where she lowers her electro resistance at constellation six. But the, the constellation where Beidou gets better than Fischl is constellation two. So, if you don't know this about Beidou, Beidou at Constellation 2 on Beidou's ultimate will do lightning arcs on your ultimate, which means you get chain lightning on your ultimate ability. And if you have chain lightning on your ultimate ability and the damage on your ultimate ability is pretty much the same as Fischl's elemental skill, it's going to do a lot more damage than Fischl's elemental skill. The thing about Beidou that's really interesting as well is that Beidou on capped out on the ultimate caps out at about 258 initial skill damage and hits for 200% every time you hit. With Fischl, however, on elemental skill for rank 11, it's 169 and I think when you get up to higher levels it gets about almost 200. So on each strike on the Oz, if they had they hit about the same speed, right? Fischl's gonna be up less uh, at about more time for the same damage but with no area of effect ability on the ultimate but it also provides 30 percent extra on the bait on the attack as well but even with all of that added in baidu's still going to do more damage on area effect damage and you're going to see more bigger gains on baidu more bigger kick anyways the other thing about baidu is that baidu is going to provide a shield and which is really really slowly needed in this current abyss and then this shield by the way at 16 percent of max baidu's max hp is bigger than most Diona shields that you see out there. So um, if you wanted to use Beidou's actual shield here, at 60% of your max HP, if you had say 20K HP on your Beidou at 0.16, that's gonna be 3,200 shield for this. If you do your elemental skill ability, however, it's 28% of your max HP on elemental skill, which is not even constellation required, and that's just high con uh, high ability. At 20,000 HP, that's gonna be, oh, sh oh that's 200,000? I mean, uh, that's, that's exactly what I wanted, 100%. Uh, okay, 20,000 times points, uh, 288, because I can do math. Uh, I'm really good at it. Uh, 5,768 plus 3547. I mean, that's like a 9K shield on Beidou's elemental skill every seven and a half seconds, and if you're using a sacrificial greatsword on your Beidou to get multiple elemental skills up, I mean, that's two shields you can really give, what also providing a huge damage bonus at over 500% damage value. So, I mean, it's really big for the Beidou damage increase, so I would definitely recommend her over Fischl as far as what you can use for uh, these types of characters. But if you like Fischl, you like Fischl, what are you going to do? Uh, for Sucrose, however, Sucrose is really good at Constellation 2, and then beyond that, she doesn't really need any other kind of constellations. C2 just increases the duration of your ultimate by 2 seconds. C1 gives it an extra elemental skill, helping you with removing elements and elemental shred and all that thing. And the elemental damage bonus that you get from the ultimate is kind of nice at C6, but other than that, she really didn't need any meaningful constellations. I don't really find the elemental damage bonus to be super good here, so you don't really need that. So overall, this banner, just to me, for most players in the game, kind of feels like a skip, unless, unless, Clean Nation. Going into the weapon banner, there is the Lost Prayer and the Skyward Pride. So you know how I mentioned Beidou earlier. Well, Beidou's best in slot weapon is that Skyward Pride, you know what I'm saying? And uh, that weapon's pretty good. But unfortunately, the Mitterschnitzwaltz Mitter Mitter is on the weapon banner. I don't know if it's gonna be a limited weapon, 
or if it's going to be a permanent weapon. I'll have to go read the weapon banner here in a minute uh, to see what we got here. Uh, do they have the weapons in here from Twitter? They do not yet. Nothing yet here from Pimon. Go look. No, they're not on the. They're not limited. They're not showing it yet. Uh, there might be some information on this later. I'll, I'll have to go look. But basically, this weapon's an attack percentage weapon. It boosts elemental skill and elemental damage. Uh, elemental skills and elemental skills boost attack percentage or normal attack damage. So it's really good for main DPS official. It's essentially just official spell. Uh, so that's cool. Uh, we got Lion's Roar, but the big one in this banner is Favonius Lance. Now I know a lot of you pulled on Eula banner. If you pulled on the Eula banner, the number one supporting character for Eula is going to be Rosaria. If you don't have a Favonius Lance yet, the Favonius Lance is going to be on a lot of different banners going forward. But it is an interesting banner to pull for. It's just go for your Favonius Lance. I would say. Holding off on this banner, if you are free to play in budget, is probably the better way to go because Favonius Lance is on so many other banners. There's tons of banners for you to sit Unless you either want the Skyward Pride for your Beidou or whatever it may be, or you're looking for a Lost Prayer for your Catalyst users. If you wanted to play Yan Fei, that's a really good weapon for her. If you want to play Cleek, great weapon for her, etc. So the, this is a very good weapon banner for the five stars, but these weapons are on every weapon banner in the game. So just know that you can pick these up later, and there might be other weapons that you want to save for that be coming uh, in 1.7 that might just be better weapons. For for you in general uh the one of the, wep the weapons that have not come back out in a long time are like the jade cutter and jade spear banners and i was thinking that that may be a better banner to save for because the jade cutter is kind of at this point the only sword that we have that helps boost all types of damage for swords so if you're gonna looking for a sword user for looking ka-ching if you're playing bennett whatever it may be that might be a good banner to save for jade spear a really good weapon for zhao mains whatever it may be whatever you're going for that and the lost person's catalyst users have kind of fallen by the wayside as far as usefulness and overall damage viability i feel like catalyst users in general are not really the best choice nowadays but Klee is extremely fun and extremely good lost prayer and i use that all the time it is a very good weapon the the state, I mean, if you did pull on the Eula banner, if you're wondering if the Skyward Pride is good for Eula, the answer is yes. It is one of my favorite weapons for Eula. I ended up getting the main weapon for her, but if you didn't get that weapon, you're looking for a Skyward Pride and potentially a Catalyst on the side. Yes, this is a good weapon banner for you. Lion's Roar, only good really for Kaching. Widzith, really good weapon for a lot of Catalyst users, say Lisa, Mona, um, Klee, potentially, if you wanted to use it that way. And all the catalyst users can use with this if they reverse damage, very good. Unfortunately, though, the other four star weapon in this banner is the bell. So it's a hundred percent skip because that ba that weapon is going to be like 90% of your summons, and you know it just as well as I do. The whole weapon banner is a skip because the fucking bell's on it, and you know that weapon's gonna be 90% rate up. You know what I'm saying? I just started. Okay, perfect. Okay, all right, so we got the new weapons on Hoya Lab. All right, cool. And the new weapons here are gonna be for the Dodoko Tails. So the first weapon for Dodoko Tails, this is gonna be the free weapon that we're getting in the game. This is the free fully weapon that we're getting in the game. Uh, we're getting this refined five for free during the event that this was for saying, okay? Now the Dodoko Tails, if you're not aware, is a 55% attack weapon with 454 base attack and max. That's the same as the Sacrificial uh, Sword. It is a very low amount of base attack. It is the lowest possible base attack that we can see so far on four star weapons, but it has a higher pay percentage attack because of that. All right, now normal and uh, normal attacks against opponents increase charge attack damage by 16%, which is at maximum 32% on refined five. Charge attacks against opponents are gonna increase attack percentage by 8% at refined one, and that's gonna be 16 at refined six. So this is gonna be a very big book for say, Klee, but also really good book for Yan Fei. Unfortunately though, it is an attack percentage book and normal attack damage book and charge attack book and all that crap. So it's not as good for Yanfei as other weapons because there are other weapons that increase percentage damage, that have crit chance modifiers, etc. So it's not the best weapon in the world. Battle pass weapons, blacklift weapons are potentially better. We'll just have to go ahead and see. This weapon overall does not seem like a great weapon to me personally, because I am not a fan of low base attack weapons with attack percentage stats. I really don't like those types of weapons. I feel like they're just really lackluster because attack percentage stats that you get in your artifacts just don't really feel like you get the umph. But I will, of course, do some testing on this weapon with Klee and Yanfei to see how it works out. And uh, if you don't want to level it, I will level it for you. I got you, fam. All right. Then, of course, we got the Mitter... 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 
official's bow, and uh, it's going to be a physical damage weapon. It's going to have physical damage on the main stack and have 510 base attack on the weapon. Normal attacks against opponents are going to increase elemental skill damage by 20%, maxes out at 40% at refined 5, and elemental skills against opponents, which are going to be at any time an elemental damage proc against bows, which is basically Oz shooting the guy, is going to hit increase normal attack damage by 40%. Now, if you compare this weapon to the Rust, um, the Rust is going to increase normal attack damage by 80% at refined 5. This weapon, however, is going to increase electro, uh, your official Oz damage by 40% and your normal attack by 40%. And it's also going to have a physical damage bonus main stat versus the attack percentage main stat. Now, overall, as a weapon, this weapon will probably, on official main DPS, be marginally better than the rust and the reason being is because the elemental skill damage for oz is a pretty sizable amount of damage but if you have constellation six fischl that's also going to be a reduced damage on your constellation fischl because of loss of the attack percentage main stack the other thing about this is it a physical damage bonus weapon versus an attack percentage bonus weapon. Now, most of the time, this is a great thing, but the, when considering Fischl, it's actually not as good. So I, what I would value this weapon as is it's probably on par with the Rust, maybe a little bit worse. Don't know for sure. We'll have to see. But it depends on the constellation you have in your Fischl, how you're doing your attack rotation, etc. Potentially could be a little better but probably right about the same. So don't don't think that if it's between Rust and this weapon, we'd have to do a whole official showcase to even figure it out. So I probably have to do official showcase at some point, but I'm, I don't have enough weapon materials to do this and this. So I'll have to pick one, I guess. But let me know in the comment section down below if you want me to level this weapon or the Dodoco Tails. I'll, I'll pick one and do what you guys say. I'll, I'll, I, might, I might do a YouTube poll, actually. Just fuck that. Don't, don't, don't do it in the comment section. I'm just doing it. But that's going to do it for this video here. My name's Sega Poco. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Double upload. Again, by the way, my, old, my, my video on the 1.6 patch notes, I don't know what's going on with that. It's literally in 360p and locked at 360p. I have no control over it whatsoever. I don't know what's going on. It's just staying there. But I can't lower the quality or upgrade the quality. So hopefully it fixes it by the time that uh, this video uh, goes live and other things happen. But thank you for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you enjoyed the video, like, subscribe, all the fun stuff. Hopefully this video is in 1080p. You have a great rest of your day.